Alright, hello! We are going to be playing some more Super Metroid. So let's open up and head on inside. And they raid into a boss battle! Yep, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fight this guy. Okay, you can only hit him in the head. That's the only way to hurt him. If there's not a terribly difficult boss, I recommend using your charge beam initially. That was bad. As long as you're, you know, damn it. Come on. Yeah, I recommend using your charge beam initially. You're going to see why. Because he gets a lot faster. Oh, fuck off. And once he starts, and he gets turn, turns more red as well. Once he starts getting faster, it becomes kind of hard to hit him. And once that happens, honestly, I think you're probably better off just killing him. You'll see what I mean. I think that'll be enough to do it, actually. Yeah, here we go. Now, I just recommend you just stand here and unload your missiles and hope they hit. You have enough if you've been getting every single one of them that you should be okay. The closer you get to his head, the more likely you are to hit him, so that's not a bad strategy either. This is not working out very well, though, so I'm kind of starting to wonder if this is going to work or not. Normally this is how I win, but... Oh, there we go! And he's down! You do have enough missiles to simply tank him, and he'll die. If you're worried about, you know, having used a lot of missiles there, because you really did, don't, because in two seconds we're going to fix that. Anyways, this is always kind of boring, there's nothing really to it, just walk through. That, these, um, will take you to a different area you don't want to go yet, so just avoid them for now. You get an energy tank! Right away we get a new power for beating the mini-boss. It's pretty great. Okay, so this is kind of a confusing little section. I find, at least. You have to jump up here, it's gonna force you down here, then jump back up and keep going. And now you can, I think, go all the way across. Nope, we have to go back up once more. If you're feeling low and you really hate, for some reason, using stations, uh, I guess you can just stock up there, but... Oh, Metroid! Hey, how's it going? I do believe there is, yeah, you can go right this way, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. These guys are a little annoying, though. Basically, you have to jump over them, using your morph ball. And you can get stuck, like I almost did right there. I really don't like this section, it's just kind of annoying, but I recommend doing it if you do my strategy against that boss, because in this room is a missile, um, recharger. Meaning we now have full missiles, 135, not bad. Uh, there are 230 in total, so we have more than half, which is pretty good, all things considered. To go back, you just run underneath, you'll be fine. Can't do that on the way there though, there's not enough space. And you're supposed to theoretically use your uh, grappling to get up there. Screw that! <laughs> Forget that. Um, this whole room. That was dumb. This whole room tends to assume you like using the grappling beam. I don't. I'm going to probably ignore it most of the time. I recommend keeping it equipped just because. That was bad. Just because if you do... Ah, ah, that was terrible. There we go. If you do, it can be kind of useful. It's just not as good as wall jumping. I wonder if I can wall jump off that. Ow, not a chance. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it also can take out those guys in one shot, which is pretty good. Alright, so this last section. Oh, that was dumb, that was dumb, that was dumb. We're okay! You actually really kind of have to not wall jump. And you have to play by their rules, which is a little bit annoying, but oh well. 
unless you're really good at wall jumping, I think you're gonna have to end up going over here. Let's see if you can do this this time without sucking. Oh, that was, that was bad. I have a tough time with this kind of area, though. I really hate the gravel beam. The controls are so awkward. <clears throat> oh, fuck off. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up. This is stupid and annoying. I can't see. Oh, we're good. Finally. Okay. From here, this is actually a pretty easy swing. And you're gonna want to burn your missiles to get in here. Why? Two reasons. First, save room. Yes, we're going to want to save. We're actually uh, very close to competing, fighting another boss. Two bosses in one part. Holy crap. First order of business, though, will recharge your energy. It's good to have one for the next boss, as it is, spoiler alert, one of the four guardians, and the last one you have to fight, Dragon. Um, he's interesting. You're going to see why I say that in a minute. Um, anyway, let's just open this door up, and oh man, more grappling. Shit, I hate it. Grappling sucks. Oh man, grappling's a pain. Oh man. Oh, oh what the? Oh, that's anticlimactic. Yes, those spikes are a lie. They are as truthful as cake. You can get a missile expansion, and then we go the other way. Head straight down. We hope the deadly eye. We can kill him. Okay. I'm gonna do something unusual. I'm gonna make a save state. Why? The next boss actually can be beaten two ways. I'm going to try to show the good way first, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, the first thing I recommend doing when you when you walk in is um, destroy these turret things. They're really annoying. Really annoying. They're pretty easy to destroy too, so it's not that big a deal. They have the little baby dragons! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, hey, baby dragons, you don't mean anything. And then... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Come on. And they're there. Dragon. There we go. Holy crap, that thing's ugly! That is Dragon. That is the next boss. Avoid these- Ah, oh, damn it, really? No, oh, that sucks. Um, basically just hammer directional buttons and shoot him to get out. I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is just the pattern the boss basically follows. If you're really persistent, you can use your power bombs to stop him from doing anything there. Oh, that was fast. He gets faster and harder to hit with time, which is a little bit annoying, but honestly, ah, oh, damn it, really? Let go! Ah! Ah, damn it. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. It doesn't do much damage from holding you. It can, but it doesn't. Ow. Even if you successfully hit him or not, he still does this next time, so you have to be really ready. That sucked. Let go of me! I find this to be a very difficult boss, to be honest. I really had trouble with Dragon. Which is why, if you have no pride, I heartily recommend doing the um, easy way out. What, the easy way out? I'll show you once I beat him the regular way. I feel like I should beat him the regular way at least once. Oh, he starts making more than one pass, I forgot. Of course, as soon as I say that, he goes back to being a normal dragon and a dick. 
Anyways, get ready for him to come from this side, because he comes from whatever side he wasn't on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was terrible. He'll get more and more red as the fight goes on. As you can start to see, his stomach just kind of starts changing color. Camera, shift, I need to see. Ow. Oh, that was, that was skill. Ah, no, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, you miserable son of a... Dragon! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, crap, that was taking too long to switch weapons. Oh, well. Yeah, he starts swooping down more often, which is kind of dumb. It's easier to hurt him when he does, but... If you're really skilled, you can hit him twice when he does that pass, but I'm not very skilled, so I'm not going to try it. Oh, now he's just going really fast. Watch this. This is nuts. Yeah. Oh, we almost got him, though. Ten super missiles left, we almost got him. Get ready. At this point, I like to get a little trigger-happy with my stuff, just because we're so close to the end of the fight. Oh, damn it. So close again. Let me go, 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 there we go. Ugh, come on, so close. Just, yeah, there we go. That is Dragon taken down. Alright, so, let's do it again. So there's a second way to beat him. I don't think it takes two minutes, but just in case, I'm going to cut this off here, and I'll show you the easy way next time. See you guys then.